You know, I haven't done a Dangerous Who episode in a while. Like, a long while. What kind of pseudoscience do people have up their butts these days? Oh. I didn't know this was going to be a literally thing. What's up, everybody? This is Dangers of Woo, a series that I started way when my channel began, but I kind of stopped doing. The premise of the Dangers of Woo series is to debunk pseudoscience specifically, as opposed to sitting in the realm of video responses. If there's some pseudoscience that you want to see covered, then please send it to me, and I will gladly do what I can. That said, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon, all that other fun stuff. I'm skipping fan art today just because I want to get right into the video itself. So apparently there's this company called Indomet, and it's based in southern San Francisco, and it's made a new, quote-unquote, product recently that it wants to push on to, well, you guys. And me too, considering that I'm morbidly obese, and this is definitely the product for me, right? They are Tapeworm Miracle Diet Pills. They are a once-a-week pill that, when ingested, cause the patient to lose as much weight as they want on a steady basis while allowing them to eat whatever they want, which is, like the claim that practically every diet pill ever has. The rationale behind how this works is apparently these are genetically modified beef tapeworms. When the eggs hatch into your system as you eat food, the worms will slowly eat any excess calories and therefore allow you to eat whatever the hell you want. This is because tapeworms are parasites. They gain all of their food by sitting inside your stomach and leeching off the calories that you eat. The pills that Indomed is peddling apparently come in groups of 10, and it's stated that it's not wise to go over 10 pills or the weekly advised dosage because then you're literally eating too many tapeworms and well if you've got too many tapeworms inside you then that can cause some problems which we will get into later. First let's talk about whether or not this would work. On an intuitive level it seems like it should function perfectly fine. For instance if you need to eat 1800 calories in order to lose weight at your current weight goals then eating 2500 calories and having the excess 700 calories devoured by the tapeworm ideally this would mean that you can eat whatever the hell you want and even eat some unhealthy foods that are laden with grease, sugars, and anything you want because the excess calories will just be devoured by the hungry tapeworms. There are some catches, though. You see, the pills that Indomed are specifically using, um, they have tapeworms that have a lifespan of a week. They suggest that you wait until you naturally pass your tapeworm before you actually ingest more pills, but there are some things to consider. And I would think this goes without saying, there's no way to control exactly how much food a tapeworm will ingest inside your body. And this has some consequences which we will see before but first of all I did wonder when I first read about this is there any historical significance to this have we seen this diet before and it turns out with a lot of things with history that answer is kind of complicated you see apparently back in the Victorian era tapeworms were a fad diet or rather they were said to be a fad diet this is because even though there are some advertisements for tapeworm pills from back then I wasn't able to dig up any information that said whether or not the pills were placebo. A lot of this surrounds a myth around opera singer Maria Callas, who was reported to have eaten parasites to try to lose weight. That has been debunked as a bit of a myth, but the methods they supposedly used back then would be by swallowing tapeworm cysts, usually in the form of a pill, but harvested off the tongue of beef cows. The theory they ran with was that the tapeworms would reach maturity inside the intestines and absorb food. Unfortunately, along with the weight loss this was supposed to cause, it would also cause diarrhea and vomiting. Once a person reached their desired weight, they needed to take a pill, which would, uh, well help you expunge the tapeworm. Tapeworms can grow up to 30 feet in length, and they can also cause many other complications besides the desired effect of weight loss. I have already mentioned the diarrhea and vomiting, but you can also have headaches, eye problems, melangitis, epilepsy, and dementia just for having a tapeworm in your system. These particular pills became advertised in the 19th century since advertising was becoming a lot more sophisticated, and even though people had been dieting for hundreds of years, the 19th century was about when we saw the birth of the fad diet. There are some other fad diets from the past that I'd like to talk about in other episodes, namely things like arsenic and the chew and spit diet, which literally involved chewing and spitting your food out instead of actually digesting it. But those are things for another episode. So as we dial back up to the modern day, we've already established that tapeworms were maybe used 
back in the day. It's not really 110% confirmed. What we do know is that at least some advertisements existed about them, and whether or not the pills were placebos or legitimately had the cyst tapeworm eggs they were supposed to have, the fact remains that people desperate to lose weight did in fact want to ingest tapeworms back then when less information was available about them. And now that more information is available about them, let's see if there's anything we- oh, okay. Apparently Khloe Kardashian suggested that she wanted to get a tapeworm on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. It evoked an article from Vice on the legitimacy and dangers of the diet, and it should be noted that regardless of your stance on the FDA, the FDA has banned tapeworm pills. Now, why would people go to such lengths to get these pills? I've already noted they have several complications, but a lot of this is rooted in the idea that beauty is pain. This is an idea that was echoed all throughout Victorian culture. Remember, this was the age of things like the corset, crumpling of feet in order to make them smaller. The idea of putting your through immense physical pain in order to achieve a better look was basically just how people comported themselves all the time. Like, right now we have the idea of going to the gym in order to lose weight or dieting in order to lose weight, but back then there were some more extreme methods that people were willing to go through, and there are still people who enjoy things like corseting nowadays. The difference is, is corseting is more of a hobby now, whereas back then this was considered the norm. If you didn't corset, then you ended up looking incredibly plain compared to other people. But so far we've been dealing with everything in the realm of theory, strictly the hypothetical, because we kind of have to. There aren't actually a lot of studies on the effects of tapeworms as used as a dieting method, so a lot of what we have to do is take the evidence of how tapeworms work when they're ingested without consent, and then kind of apply those to the idea of using tapeworms as a dieting method. That said, I was able to actually find at least one article where a Dr. Michael Fosley decided to try the tapeworm diet himself, took a tapeworm, and then documented all of his findings. So, like we mentioned before, intuitively, it should technically work. A tapeworm can eat many things in your body and prevent you from ingesting those calories yourself, and then, of course, even though there are those complications, it, there's no beauty without pain, right? So what did Dr. Michael Mosley actually find out? Well, Mosley traveled to Kenya in order to pick up his parasites, harvesting them from cows' tongues, like was said to have been done in the past, and then ingested tapeworms and tracked his progress for about six weeks. So, there are a few things to be noted. First of all, even though Indomed claims that the lifespan of the tapeworms they're using is one week, a tapeworm could live in a person's body for up to 20 years. Regardless, Mosley decided to keep his diary for six weeks instead of 20 years, but then again, he did this in 2014, so he would have been able to do 20 years of this. What he found was that even though he he tried his best not to change his diet, he wanted to maintain eating everything that he normally did and see if he lost any weight, the tapeworm had an adverse effect on him, and not just the diarrhea and other complications that come with tapeworms, this one was a bit unexpected. You see, with the body losing so many of its nutrients to the tapeworm, I mentioned before you can't exactly control how much the tapeworm eats, Mosley's body started giving him cravings. Cravings for carbohydrates and sugars, things that could be very quickly digested, and then of course turned into quick energy for the body or in this case, quick energy for the tapeworm. As a result, he ended up gaining about two pounds during his experiment. Instead of losing any weight, he just ended up gaining weight. Eventually, he had to take medication to get rid of the tapeworms, and luckily he had no lasting symptoms. So even though this is not a meta-study or a giant analysis on multiple people taking the tapeworm diet, what Mosley's findings seem to indicate, at least in the anecdote, is that if you are wanting to lose weight, the tapeworm diet is not going to work, because any of the benefits that the tapeworm diet gives you are offset by what happens when you have a tapeworm in your system. The actual things your body starts craving are the exact opposite of the things you need to be ingesting in order to lose weight in the first place. This is, of course, not even considering the fact that ingesting tapeworms is already incredibly risky due to all the other complications that can come from having the worms. So not only will you have fever, diarrhea, vomiting, and all the other unpleasant stuff that can come from having the tapeworms, including, you know, epilepsy, you will be undergoing all of that stress for no actual gain. The tapeworm diet itself just doesn't work. I guess it would be one thing if it was just temporary discomfort that you had to deal with, like a lot of pain you had to go through in order to actually have these things work. But unfortunately, one, tapeworms aren't controllable inside your body. They can grow up to nine meters or 30 feet. All in all, none of that is incredibly pleasant, and it's all stuff that you don't really have to go through because the tapeworm diet itself 
isn't even effective. So please don't eat tapeworms in a desperate attempt to lose weight. There are other better methods. So whenever I do Dangerous Woo, I like to conclude with what the actual dangers of the particular Woo are, regardless of the fact that they're just ineffective. With the tapeworm diet, I already list all the complications, the diarrhea, fever, all that other fun stuff, and the fact that the tapeworm diet is not just ineffective, but can actually cause you to lose weight due to your body craving more quickly digestible calories. Not a pleasant experience, not really good for you in any way, and please avoid this woo. But that all said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and maybe comment below if you have anything you want to say. If you have a particular type of woo that you'd like me to debunk, then please please let me know in the comment section below. Past that, if you've made it to this part of the video, you are seeing the Patreon slides. These are for anybody who's a $20 and up patron who has been a patron for at least a month. These people are the ones that literally allow the channel to keep on chugging along, so I want to thank them, and if you guys can do so in the comment section as well, thank them too. If you like my content, their patronage is half the reason I'm able to get these episodes out at all. The other half is, of course, you, the viewer. So, that all said, thank you all for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, everyone. Insert end of video tagline here.